In this quick Figma tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to crop an image to a shape. In this case, what we need to do after we have an image on our document, we need to create some sort of shape. We can use the pin tool, we can use the shape tools. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to crop it to a circle, for instance. So I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is O. Now out here, if I wanna draw a perfect circle, I can click and drag while also holding shift. And that's gonna keep that as a perfect circle. I'm gonna let go when I have it about the size that I want it. I can move this circle or ellipse over the top of my image to about where I want to crop it. Then I'm gonna to want to send that behind my image or bring my image to the front. Depending on what your layers are looking like, you could grab your image, right click and say, bring to front, which is the right bracket, or you could click on your ellipse and press the left bracket or right click and say send to back. Either way, we just need to get that behind our image. We can still see the outline as long as that ellipse is selected. And then we can click and drag both objects. So make sure the ellipse and your photo are both selected. Right click and we can go to use as mask. That's shift control M or shift command M. Once we've done that, we've actually created a mask. So we've cropped our photo into the shape of the shape. And that shape is now the mask. So we can drag this mask around to reposition it. We could also double click in here and grab the photo underneath the mask and reposition it, scaling it up, etc. So we can still manipulate the elements within this. If we select the ellipse, we can actually scale up and down the size of our mask as well. So you still have some wiggle room here as far as making adjustments to this, but then it simply acts as an object uh, all together. So it's a mask group. If you look in your layers panel, you can lock that group in so it's not going to be able to move. You can also just hide all of the contents to sort of clean up your layers panel. And of course, you can double click on this to rename that group. But that is how you can crop images into shapes of any sort that you create here in Figma.